Okay, so today we run five miles. Do I go with the old trusty turbo twos? Or do I do these turbo twos? How about the next level flies? Nah, we're gonna go with the 37s today, the Pegasus 37s. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Nike app to track how many miles you are putting on each shoe. So these shoes, this is for race days only. This is for track days, but this is for five miles. And I'm gonna show you why it's important to track your shoes and use this as a tutorial to show you exactly how to know how many miles you've been putting on each pair of shoes. Let's go. First, you wanna press that sneaker icon right above the blue dot there. And then your sneaker collection will come up. These are the Pegasus 37s. They're newest ones in my collection. So they only have 44 miles on them. The Pegasus Turbo 2s, which you can rename your sneakers, right? And they have 106 miles on them. The pink Next Level Flies has 82 miles on them. And then the Process 2s, they are should be retired, but I'm holding on to them for rainy days. So we're gonna select the shoe. Notice that the shoe that I selected was wrong and it's white. Now that's not a problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix that later. Now I'm gonna show you how you can see all your shoes in one location, even your retired ones. You go to your home screen, touch on your icon in the left corner, click on my shoes, and then a list will pop up, including your retired shoes. You wanna bring a shoe back out of retirement or you know those next level flies are only good for 100 miles, so they say. So I'm getting close to having to replace those that I use for my race. Next, I'm gonna show you how after you're done the run, how you can go back to your history. So you go to your history and I click on Friday morning run. I did one mile on the track and I used the next level flies for that. You just scroll down, there's your library right there. Click on the shoes. And now you're good to go. Now you are accurately calculating how many miles you're putting on each shoe. Then you just back on out of it. You'll see that it takes a second to refresh. And that's all it took was just one second. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please share it with your friends. If you like more tips and strategies on running, please head to runtothebestshoe.com and check out our podcast on Apple or Spotify.